Hello everybody to a new video and today I'm going to be teaching you about motors. So over here I have a setup. So this is a very basic setup of a fan. This part here, the union, will spin around this block. Inside this part is a hinge constraint with a motor with an actual type and two attachments. So let's replicate this model. Okay, I made this setup and now let's start using constraints. So firstly, pull out this union. You want it to be a union so everything's welded together. Then you want to go into model and over here to constraints. Under it, go to hinge and then create a hinge from that one block and then to the other. In this part, you will find an attachment. What you want to do is go down to the position and change the x value to 0 and the z value to 0. That will center it. So, in this part, we have a hinge constraint. Under it, you will find different properties. Firstly, you want to change it to motor on axiotype. Then, you want to go under to motor and set the angular velocity to whatever number you want it to be. I'm going to put it to 20. And set this number to infinite. I'm going to set the acceleration to 5. So it slowly increases. And now we can test this out. Firstly, remember to anchor all these parts, but not the actual union. So there you go, they are both spinning, and this one's very fast. You might be thinking, how do I script this? Well, I'm going to show you. So, if I get this part, put it there, and then get a sphere, or any part, and then create a small part here to represent a button. I'll make it neon. And then I'm going to put a script inside of it. Then I'm going to group all of this together in the model. And then in that, in the script, I want to say script dot parent. Oh wait, sorry. Inside of this, what you want to do is go to this button and then insert a click detector. And then you want to say script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect function and that is it. No parameters at all. Then drop a line and then say script dot parent dot union or uh, dot part oh, sorry but make this called motor or whatever you want it to be called. and then dot hinge constraint dot angular velocity equals 5 so if I set it to 0 and then join the game so when I click this button it will start spinning and there you go If you want to make it turn on and off, you could say if on equals false or false yes, then else, and then what would you say is the same thing zero. And then on equals true. On equals.
equals false. And then above that, create a variable saying on equals false. This will make it so you can turn the fan on and off, or your motor. On and off. And there you go. 